on youtube it's your boy ogt man and today we got when hateful rappers get destroyed by constant it by my boy mighty elo e uh, mighty elroy uh, make sure to go mess with his channel but, um yeah let's go ahead and start the video Yiddy. Rappers continue to pick on this one streamer, Kaisen that for no reason. Every few months you hear about another rapper calling him out or dissing him. Kai just minds his business till they can't take it no more. Then they use calling him out or Glorilla and her friends, they're in Kai. Wow, what Kai just minds his business till they can't take it no more. Then it usually doesn't end well for the rappers. Because everyone knows how genuine Kai is. So when you disrespect them, people don't take it lightly. Why do these rappers always choose Kai when sending hate? Is it for clout or do they really dislike him? Hey, my name is Mighty Elroy and today we will discuss the rappers that tried beefing with Kai. The first beef would be with a rapper from Memphis, Tennessee, Glorilla. She became known after her hit song FNF, which would debut on the Billboard Hot 100. Her style was unique and everyone would start to get hyped about her music, even Kai. They first talked to each other on an Instagram live where they kind of just got to know each other and became friends. But that wouldn't last long because Glorilla really released a track called Cha Cha Cha. Kai saw the song and decided to do a live reaction. And well, it wasn't so great. No, 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 no. Come on, Glow, Glow, Glow. It didn't take long for Glorilla to notice and then block Kai. Then in the next live stream, Kai looked confused and searched Glow's name on social media and found out he was really blocked. Wait! <gasps> then Glow would tweet to make it look like she accidentally blocked Kai. He felt disrespected and used her own words against her. You laid your bed, you better stay there! <laughs> After this and stand on business with it, nigga. And stand on business, nigga. And that, 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 I don't even, that beef right there was just, that's just females. Like, I don't know. That's just certain females. I don't understand that, that, that one right there. Glow would go live with a couple of her friends where they would talk about how they would do something to Kai. Behind bars ain't saving you. Now let her find out what jail you is in. No one seemed to take them serious. And on top of that, her music video received more dislikes than likes. So pretty much, Go lost his beef and kind of started it for nothing, just like the next rapper. Months later, another rapper by the name Joe Buddy would speak on Kai and other streamers. We all already know this old head always has something negative to say. I dislike Joe Button. You can make any a claim you want. You can say he's a good person. I fucking hate Joe Button with a fucking passion. This nigga always got some negative to say. He always want to put his fat e egghead ass always in somebody else's biz. He always want to fucking be nosy with your long chin ass, with your elastic strip fucking beard ass, with your weird neck ass. Your ass look like an emu dressed up to be a human fat nose ass, boy. Your ass look like a retarded elf. Um, Santa, where do you want me to put this face ass, boy? Fuck wrong with you. That that one meant to attack nobody, but I'm just saying, like, this nigga always... By the younger generation. But if you're wondering who Joe is, he is a rapper from New York that released a hit song, Pump It Up. That's probably the only song you ever heard by him, honestly. I want you who's well-spoken and articulates himself well. My Chill. Yeah, hold up. Yo. All right, we gotta wrap this up, though. I wrap it up, then. For so long, I'm glad it succeeded, man. Joe is known for being a hater to the new generation of rappers. He never has anything good to say. Joe even decided to beef with NBA Youngboy, which does not take this as lightly. Stupid, dumb, glow. Don't even get hard no more. Count ass. And that's not all. He would even try to start beef with Logic, but it looks like he got shut down quickly. Logic, you are easily one of the worst rappers to ever, <laughs> to ever grace a microphone. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to read it word for word like he read mine. Pa, pa, pump, pump, pump it up. We going to do it like uh, uh, uh. Even after hating on rappers, he decided to hate on streamers too. He mentioned how streamers have a high ego on his talk show, Joe Budden TV. Yo, y'all little streamer niggas don't always run shit. Shut the fuck up. Eventually, the video got around and Kai saw it and decided to react to it. Stop doing that, bro. Like, we some no I would buy you, my Do you understand that, bro? If I want to 
voice my opinion. I'm gonna voice my opinion. And that's some people problem. I don't ever let the young flourish. Kai pretty much humbled Joe after this response, and he wasn't the only one that would speak on the situation. Streamer Aiden Ross also sent a response to Man, Joe Biden, every single time that I see you or a clip of you, it's just some awesome hate. Bro, I'm gonna be honest, bro. You have no room to talk, no room to speak. Let your opinions about me and Kai to ourselves. Me and Kai are 10 times more richer than you and you will ever be. Old man. Mm, speak on it, motherfucker. Speak on it. Big hit. Hey, big hating ads. Sasquatch head ass, motherfucker. Big egg head ass, nigga. Always hating on somebody. And uh, we're more humble than you and we're nicer than you. It doesn't look like Joe responded to them. Maybe he decided to quit hating, or maybe he's smiling behind the phone knowing that he got their attention. <laughs> Obviously, this wasn't a crazy beef because Kai ended it so quickly, but it just shows you that he's prepared for the haters. The next rapper that would start beef with Kai would be Kanye West. Now Kanye has been through a lot over the last few years from being called crazy to having trouble with his kids and his ex-wife Kim. It looks like he never catches a break. So he definitely doesn't hold back his tongue anymore, especially when it comes to being recorded by paparazzis. Hey, good morning, Kanye. You out in front of my house at 4 a.m. Kanye is definitely stressed out for people following him around, but they mostly know him for his music talent. Many fans thought he was dying off, but he proved them wrong. He released the song Carnival, which reached number one on Hot 100. He hasn't reached that high in 10 years, so does this mean he's back? While killing the billboard, he is always still managing to run his brand Yeezy. He decides to sell all his clothing on his site for $20. Kanye made over 19 million in one day and sold over 260,000 Yeezy bots. And it wouldn't be long till Kai came into the picture. Kai decided to send some merch to Kai or he would try it on live on stream. It didn't turn out so well because the pants didn't fit. Hold on, I'm putting it to the tightest one, hold on. Kanye looked upset from what Kai said, but the clothes were just too big. But it looks like Kanye still has something against Kai that he is not letting up. He mentions that Kai is an industry plant and a podcast. Like the shit that Kai sent to my, that's some industry plant. He yeah, got, yeah. he got to be talking yeah, shit about it. my pants. That, so so he's, he's an industry plant. He's an of course he's the like opposite. Plant. Totally. That exact genre is the most industry plants. It's about like. But then it looks like the beef was settled after Kai reacted to this and asked her for new pants. Bro, yeah, just send me some new pants, bro. Bro, just send me, bro, all of this because the pants ain't fit. So he was sent more where he could actually fit this time. <laughs> this was obviously a small misunderstanding, but it could have been easily prevented. But that, that beef, that wasn't real beef. That nigga Kanye did the most all because Kostinette said the pants didn't fit. Yay. You may not be the, you know, most sane person, but stop starting shit for, for no reason. People always try to test Kai's patience, but he never backs down. The next rapper would be You Know Miles, a rapper known for dropping diss tracks and outstanding music. Here is a clip of Doja Cat reacting to his top tier music. Can't forget about Malcolm X and Rosa Parks. I feel like we made it out the park. Now I know what you're thinking. How is this artist so talented? But his fame wouldn't stop there. Because a podcaster by the name of Funny Marco would even react to one of his songs. This is the sound of a bag. This is the sound of a robot. But recently, you know decided to drop something for Kai. He first dropped a diss track on Kai about him needing to get a new barber. Kai said he was mad about getting dissed. A rapper by the name of Uno Miles is dissed me. I'm pissed off right now. The comment section on the diss track video was the best part. We getting kicked out the barbershop with this one. Zero violence, zero nudity, zero drugs, zero talent. Recently, another diss track was dropped and Kai reacted to it and seemed very upset. Kai the type of that befriends a bad barber. Kai the type of that won't fire his barber. Kai the type of that have a barber named T-Pain. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh my god! Fuck! Man! 
Kai really didn't end the beef with you know Miles, like the other rappers, but this one seems more of like a funny beef rather than it being hostile. Overall, it looks like the diss tracks will never end, but what else will never end is Kai being friends on by Tyler. I know this isn't beef. Ah, uh, but we friends though. Why y'all had to bring that up? But we friends though. <laughs> But we friends though. <laughs> People constantly remind Kai every day about it. But who is Tyler? Tyler is a rapper from South Africa. She became mostly known for her hit song Water. Baby swim. People are not only loving her music though, they also love how attractive she is. And that's how it all started. Kai decided to make a video saying how pretty she is. Tyler is pretty as I'm not gonna cap. It's her accent and her face card. Not long after, Kai actually met her in person. Bro was smiling the whole time. He must have used that Duke Dennis aura to catch her attention. But Kai must have talked to her during that night to maybe hop on his live stream later on, which eventually happened. It was definitely a funny stream, but this is where the friend zone meme started. So um, I can't do Zoe, so my only option is um, Tyler. Would you like to go on a date with me? Are you asking for real? Yeah. But we friends though. Ooh. After this moment, Kai's chat never will let this down. They always find a way to bring it up. Three years game. Though. Right. Though. Yeah, we friends. But we friends though. Right. Yeah, we Bro looked like he was having flashbacks from that moment. Not only does his fans remind him of this moment, so does his friends. In one of his most recent streams, Kevin Hart decided to give Kai a gift that will forever remind him of Tyler. What's up? I had this made. I had this made right here. We gotta hang this up. We wow. friends, though. Yeah, we All right. <laughs> so we got the same friends. Hey. With this being such a trending joke, other people would get curious and want to know if Tyler really did mean what she said. So in a recent podcast, they asked Tyler about it, and this is what her response was. We wanted to talk about the live stream that you joined with Kai Sinat. You friends owned him, right? Like, you kind of... <laughs> I'm honest, like, yeah. we are friends and chill. I mean, I don't think it's that serious, to be yeah. honest. Like, he, I don't think he was that serious. We just had fun that day, and yeah, it was really fun. It seems like Kai would never catch a break. Rappers will continue to target him, beef with him, and friend... That's tough. But we friends, though. I'm just playing. But, um, hope you enjoyed that video. Um, yeah, most of these, most of these motherfuckers, like, just some little shit. And most of these beefs weren't even beef. They was just dumb. Like, no funny shit. But, um, yeah. Nah, whoever was interviewing Kanye was meat riding a little bit. I'm finna say Kanye wasn't destroyed. He lost some fans, but I don't think Ye truly be destroyed. I don't know about all that. I'm dying laughing. You you know Miles in this. <laughs> Yo, this actually was a good video. I can you blowing up gang, keep it up, bro. Yeah, most deaf. Y'all go mess with. See now I'm sad. I ain't even gonna say why I'm sad. I'm just sad. But um Yeah, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Without that being said, it's your boy OGT Man. Signing out. Yiddy.